Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's keep up with the gold market. Um, you can see we do not have any bounce yet, although market is entering gradually in an area of support. So this is, uh, so you can see already first levels have been tested, market still stands in a deep oversold area. So you can see market strongly below the oversold level. Well, in the commodities markets, uh, this is not some extraordinary behavior. So uh, the financial markets do not like to stand in overbought and air and oversold areas too long. Usually they show the bounce as soon as they have just touched these levels. But the, commod uh, the commodities could spend some time uh, with the deep overbought and oversold area. Uh, as a crude oil in the gold market, this is just a bit the different nature of the markets. And uh, this is not something outstanding, so uh, it, it means that reaction probably will follow, but it will be a bit later. Anyway, um, you can see market uh, is coming to the major support on the daily chart. This is major 30% support, 1275, and it also will be the confluence. As we talked about it in the week, weekly report, uh, since we have the large, large steeple to sell pattern, uh, we said that at least market should hit the 1275, just because this is the 30% level. And uh, market largest triple two patterns treated as the completed when it uh, hits at least the 30% in, uh, retracement and shows the 30% retracement. And market right now is coming to it. Uh, the, the scenario when we talked about the possible brand by the trade first and our continuation second uh, has not been realized. It's just because you can see the market is just keep drop keep dropping. And uh, it means that currently we should be focused on the hitting 1275. And uh, retracement, the minor pullback, uh, has more chance to happen right from this area. Uh, taking into consideration the uh, very fast action, strong bearish momentum in the gold market, it means that probably we, we could get the kind of the ABCD patient here still and the deeper retracement probably. Maybe we'll get here kind of the hand shoulders patient or something of that sort. But first, 1275 area. If we'll take a look at the fallout and from chart, you could see reaction on the XOP target. Recall on the weekend we said, well, market hits the XOP. Uh, let's keep watching whether we'll see the bounce up and whether we will get the burn by the sell. No, we, will, we haven't got anything. So it's just minor pullback in the beginning of the Monday and collapse. Uh, currently, since XOP already has been extended and, and, and broken, uh, we have uh, have to estimate and uh, put the different targets. And uh, when we do not have uh, extension, we use the uh, kind of the extended retracement of the extension of the of the previous swing up. And in this case, this is XA swing, and we are counting down first 127 extension. It has been hit with the XOP. Now we will be watching for 1618. 1618 stands at 1275. It coincides with the daily confidence support area. Also, here we could apply a bit uh, larger extension, probably. Uh, personally, I don't like it too much just because with a very small BC leg. But potentially, you could keep an eye on this uh, pattern as well. So just uh, extend this initial AB leg here. And in this case, take a look. We have another XOP area that stands not coincides with 1275, but stands relatively close in 1278, 1279. So that will be an area also very close to uh, daily confidence. So it means that currently we still keep an eye on the possible bullish reversal patterns. If you remember, we said that uh, despite that we have the strong support, we have oversold, but we can't take the long position on intraday charts. We can't take bullish scalp trade until we will get the clear bullish reversal patient. And it means that since we haven't got it, we still keep watching. And it means that currently it's not the moment yet for taking the long position. Uh, so our trading plan suggests first reaching of the 1275, second watching for a bullish reversal pattern here on the hourly chart, and if we will get it, 
we could try to take this scalp long trade with the uh, with the target of the moderate pullback here of the most recent leg down. So that's what we'll be watching for in the gold market.